Good morning, student. Today, in the last lecture, we have discussed the types of error, in which we have discussed types of error are absolute error, mean absolute error, relative error, and percentage error. So today we will discuss its numerical. First numerical is the length of a road is measured in an experiment was found to be this, 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 and this. Find the average length, the absolute error in each observation, and the percentage error. Student, see how many observations we have taken here. Five. So L M is equal to how you take the mean sum of all the observation two point four eight plus two point four six plus two point four nine plus two point five zero plus two point four eight. Right, student, divide by five. When you add this, then you will get it equal to twelve point four one divided by five. It is two point four eight two, right meters. Student, in solving such question, if the observation is given up to two decimal places, then your answer must be in two decimal places. So for this, you have to round off. Round off this. All of you know the round off rules, right? So it is mean value or average value. This is the average length. First part we have solved. In second part, we have to calculate. the absolute error in different observation what is the absolute error in first observation lm minus l1 what is lm 2.48 l1 is also 2.48 so it is 0 delta l2 it is lm minus l2 so it is 2.48 minus 2.46 so it is 0.02 meter delta l3 it is lm minus l3 so 2.48 Minus two point four nine. It is minus of zero point zero one. Yesterday I told you this absolute error may be positive, negative, or zero. So you are getting this point. Delta L four is L M minus L four. So it is two point four eight minus two point five zero. It is minus of zero point zero two meter. Delta L five is L M minus L five. It is two point four eight minus of two point four eight. It is equal to zero. Right, student. So these are the absolute error in different lengths. Now, mean absolute error is mean absolute error is we have to calculate delta L M. Take the mode of all these delta L one. Mode means if it is negative value, you have to take its positive value. Delta L three plus delta L four plus delta L five divided by five. So when you solve it, it is zero. It is zero point zero two. It is zero point zero one. It is zero point zero two plus zero divided by five. So here you will get zero point zero five divided by five, and it is zero point zero one meter. This is delta L M, right, student? So now you can write the mean length as L M plus minus delta L M, right? The value of length is line. Is it's equal to mean value and lies in the range plus delta L M to L plus. Yesterday we have discussed this length lies in between L plus delta L M to L minus delta L M. This is L M you can write. So what is L M? Two point four eight mean value, and this is plus minus zero point zero one meter. So now to calculate percentage error. It is delta L M divided by mean absolute error divided by mean value into hundred. So it is zero point zero one divided by two point four eight into hundred. When you solve it, it is zero point four zero percent. Now, student, I think it is clear to you this question. Question number two, I have given you for the practice. You can solve this question by yourself, and in the notes you can give me, or when you send your work, then give the solution of this work, this question to me. Now the combination of error. Next topic is combination of error. See, student, what is combination of error? When you are calculating some result or when you are doing some experiment, then you are using some formula. If there is some error in the measurement of one quantity, then automatically the error arises in the result. So here we have to discuss error in the sum of the two quantities. How we can measure? Means x equal to a plus <coughs> error in the sum of quantities. Error in the sum of two quantities. So x equal to a plus b. Let delta a be the absolute error in a, absolute or mean absolute error in a. Delta b the mean absolute error in b. 
delta x be the mean absolute error in x. So you can write this equation number 1 as x plus minus delta x is equal to a plus minus delta a plus b plus minus delta b. Now x plus minus delta x is equal to a plus b plus minus delta a plus minus delta b. In place of a plus b you can write x, right student? plus minus delta a plus minus delta b. This get cancelled out. So now plus minus delta x is plus minus delta a plus minus delta b. So there are four possible values of delta x. Four possible values of delta x are delta x is plus delta a plus delta b plus delta a minus delta b minus delta i plus delta b and minus delta i minus delta b. So what is the maximum positive value? This one plus delta i plus delta b. What is the minimum value? Minus delta i minus delta b. So this is a maximum value of absolute error in x and this is a minimum value. Right children? Now page number 33. I have given you the difference. Error in the difference. It is same just like first error in the sum. Same steps we have taken plus minus delta a plus minus. You can write here also plus minus plus minus. You can write here plus minus. Plus minus delta a is the absolute error in a. Del plus minus delta b is the absolute error in b. It is in x. So you can write x plus minus delta x. a plus minus delta a minus of b plus minus delta b. Now a minus b you can write plus minus delta a. When you put this sign in, in the, when you bring this sign uh, inside it, then plus get minus and minus get plus. Student, whether we will write it as minus plus or plus minus, both are same sign. Same means because the two signs are appearing with delta b. Now you can write a minus b as x. x get cancel out. Plus minus delta x is equal to plus minus delta a minus plus delta b. So again, four pair possible values are there. Right and maximum value is this and minimum value is this. So error in the sum and error in the difference is obtained by taking the sum of the mean absolute error in A and B. Now if we do first question. The initial and final temperature of water bath are 18 plus minus 0 0.05 degrees Celsius, 40 plus minus 0 0.3 degrees Celsius. What is the rise in temperature? Means we have to calculate Tf minus Ti final temperature minus initial temperature. So here the Tf is 40 plus minus 0 0.3 degree Celsius. Student it means it is Tf plus minus delta Tf. This means it is Tf Right? Ti is 18 plus minus 0 0.5 degree Celsius. It is Ti plus minus delta Ti. This is the absolute error in final temperature. This is the absolute error in initial temperature that I will not tell later you in the uh, later in the next question so it is understood it is its mean value and it is its absolute error. So we have discussed how the result is obtained Tf minus Ti. So what is Ti? 40. What is this? 18. So it is 22 degree Celsius. How we can calculate the absolute error in this? You know that what is the absolute error in the difference plus minus delta A plus minus delta B. So it is plus minus delta Tf plus minus delta Ti. What is delta Tf plus minus 0 0.3? It is plus minus 0 0.5. It is 0 0.8. So answer becomes, answer is T plus minus delta T. It is 22 plus minus 0 0.8 degree Celsius. I think it is clear to you. Right now to solve the next next question, next questions are also same. The resistor R1 equal to 100 plus minus 3 ohm and R2 equal to 200 plus minus 4 ohm are connected in series. What is their equivalent resistance? You know student RS is equal to R1 plus R2. So what is R1? 100. What is R2? 200. What is delta R1? 3. What is delta R2? 4. So how the result is obtained by adding these two? So what is the absolute error in it? Delta Rs is equal to plus minus delta R1 plus minus delta R2. It is plus minus 3 plus minus 4. That is equal to plus minus 7. So Rs plus minus delta Rs is this 300 plus minus 7. Question number 3 you have to do by yourself. Now question number 4. There are two capacities measured by this. This farad is a unit for capacitance. Right student? 
calculate the total capacity in parallel. In parallel, there is formula that you have to learn. In class 12th, we will derive this. In CP, it is C1 plus C2. In series, it is 1 by CS is equal to 1 by C1 plus 1 by C2. These two result for resistor and for capacitor. These are in reverse. Here, the series is parallel. So, CP is equal to C1 plus C2. 1.2 plus 2.5 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 plus